there, Raven. It's me, Chris. I, uh, decided to give you a call on the phone, which is not pre-recorded, like I'm actually here right now. You probably can't see me on the map, but that's, that's fine. Don't worry. Uh, the boiler intact, so that none of the gas can go through for this night shift, so you can have a better look at your surroundings. Raven, can I tell you about some stuff that I've been noticing around this place? Like, have you ever heard of... Hello, Mr. Anderson. I am Mike. I have sabotaged the call between you and Chris. Because I am here to talk about certain things about this new location. I know the previous location was an utter mess, but don't worry. This time nothing can go wrong. After Jeremy died in his own house, he gave me the role to be the new owner around here. And not you, Mr. Anderson. Are we clear? You're gonna have to secure this place yourself. Listen, I am obliged to give you an early paycheck, if you manage to do your best for the first three nights. Raven, I gotta say from all those years back I finally learned my lesson. Being a boss is tough but it's pretty manageable. You don't have to worry about anything strange appearing in front of your desk. The only thing that could happen is that Chris could cause a problem with the boiler and blow you both up in a matter of seconds. Oh, don't worry about that. In case, if the boiler unleashes deadly toxic gases you can filter them out with the ventilation filter on your right. With just a few clicks on the buttons and the air will filter out all the gases. Note that constant turning on equipment might potentially cause to malfunction it. So always use it, whenever you like. Another thing I want to talk about are the new rules for this establishment. None is allowed to leave this place. No one is allowed to hog any cardboard cutouts of the old animatronics. Parts and service is now not more visible on the camera. I'm currently working on bringing at least one animatronic in this location. Though you should remember her from the location in Germany. Don't worry, she won't kill you as long as she didn't develop any sort of relation with you back when she was a human. That bitch is the reason why we wanted to make robots behave differently against predators. Angry German kid is getting old. Just like our animatronics. They're not even here anymore. They all got burned in Germany. Yes I caused the fire, because I was tired of that place. Those robots looked like walking dead corpses. I used to help Jeremy to design them. But I never found them appealing to kids. Before the Angry German Kid Studio we had another location named Gina's Family Diner, which only lasted for a year. An accident happened with a young girl who got hit by one of the animatronics. Jeremy had to pay for all the damages. Gina was probably our most advanced animatronic but also pretty dangerous. She would hang out with the kids fine, but when she encountered any adults she would just stare and act seducing. Most co-workers were pretty crazy back then and got killed nearly when they got in contact with her. Anyway, I think that's enough taken from your time. Just have fun testing out all equipment. Make sure Chris isn't doing anything stupid this time around. Alright, talk to you later. Goodbye and good night.
So, I heard you wanted to be the night guard for this establishment called the AGK Studio, right? Well, it's good to have you on board. I'm sending you on a mission to investigate that place, because we are dealing with an unsolving mystery. The owner of the company is never seen in the building around. We need answers, because they are being suspicious of hiding some sort of criminal database records. Anyway, it is important that you never tell your true identity. Good luck, Raven. Your dad must be really proud of you.